Let's see if we see some Himalayans here. Oh, here we go. Hey, how are you? Good. Right, my name is Bill, otherwise known as Daktari Rider. I am now at the tail of the dragon and heading northwest towards DC and then New York and beyond. For the next 10 days or so, I'm gonna be around here in the Smoky Mountains, Appalachia. Anybody want to ride with me? I'd really love it because I love riding with other Royal Enfield owners. All right, nice, nice gentleman. John's from around the Cookville area, so he's come down quite a ways. And then of course, Bill's from London. He's come a long way. Got his bike shipped into Miami, drove down to the Keys, then made his way up here. But today the plan is gonna be to ride the Cherahala and the Dragon. So 22,000 miles, you say? 23 too. Oh, nice. Have you had to do much to it? I know, we the head gas. Okay, alrighty. Other than that, that's what I'm shooting for is 22. <laughs> Alright, we're doing it. 22,000 miles on the Himalayan in front of me. That's pretty impressive. Um, I'll have to ask Bill what he's got on his. He's ridden in India, um, all over the all over the world. It sounds like so. I'm sure he's got a, quite a few on there. But he's uh, he's got this exact same year model bike I have, 22 Himalayan. So. Oh, it's good to see that someone else leaves their turn signal on. <laughs> hey, John, it's okay. I do it all the time. little brisk out, isn't it? <laughs> I'm still wearing these. I've got warmer gloves, but... Yeah. I yeah. I turned, on, I turned on the electric <laughs> on low. And I, I've, I've got, this is one of those summer real light ones where it goes through, but I've got, I've got an undergarment on that's protecting me, but... Yeah, I, just I, I wore that, I wore that yesterday. I froze my ass off. Yeah. <laughs> I'll put this one on today, but I... Now, is your gear battery operated, or is it, you plug into... I, I just plug it in, yeah. And it's it's not this. Master that I have, uh -huh. they don't even make one that you can plug in anymore. Oh, wow, yeah. But this is like five years old. Come on, guys. Hey. <laughs> All right, give me, give me the consonants. South America. In South America, yeah. Very briefly. So I don't think that counts. Australia? Uh, yes. Antarctica? No. <laughs> no. So, Asia, Europe, America, Australia. Yeah? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Kind of. But I've done a lot in um, Philippines, Indonesia, Thailand, Sri Lanka, right. India, Nepal, that yeah. area. Yeah. And the, the reason I'm writing at the back 
is because my brain is stuck in Asia, which means there are no road rules. <laughs> so if I'm in the front, stop signs mean nothing. So it's an adjustment riding here. I'm just gonna, I'm trying to stay out of trouble. So let's, uh, let's get up into the high country. So up here about 3,500 feet, um, still new buds. Leaves are just starting where down below at normal elevation, things are, are drained up. Come on, Himalayan. Get off these hills. Oh, wow, we got a bicycle rider. They've been climbing that whole time. I've done plenty of bicycle riding, folks and that's not easy, not at all. It's amazing countryside. I mean, I can just imagine the trails that are in there. Yeah. And the people that are living in there. Because there are a lot of people in there, right? But you know, it's, you look out there, you don't see one cabin. Uh-uh. Nothing out there. No, but there's, there's, there's a bunch, I'm sure. I mean, a couple I met the other day, they'd been really deep in the woods. Yeah. And they said they come across people living super remote. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But they look like they haven't come out of the woods in years. <laughs> Getting hooked up with some gas here, didn't take much. Hey, now there's a custom color Harley right there. You gotta like that. CBO, nice. All right, looks like we're at a <laughs> great business plan on the Tilba Dragon. Got tires, oil, repairs, Wheeler's Performance Motorcycle Shop. I'm sure it is used a lot. I think Bill's going to change the oil on his Himalayan. It's got 10,000 miles on it. Don't know when the last change was, but I'm sure he's put some miles on that thing. Lift the real quick shift. Yeah, yeah. I've seen you go by. I think you were one of the first. Uh, I think it was like you went by, and then party guys came by, and then it was another sport guy came by. You were the first sport guy that went by. How many bikes from the Dragon do you get here today? I know what's going Our on. Day? We have a big immigration problem. That's why you can drive. We got everybody three to four. To 15 to 30. Mostly tire changes. Lots of tire changes, suspension setups, uh, miracle fixes. We did two of them yesterday. Okay. We had a machine, a part for a brake master cylinder. Yeah. So we were able to get that guy back and riding. And then I think he did some welding, some TIG welding on an exhaust. So. Nice. Lots of lots of miracle fixes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you got one of everything here, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, one. Uh, You've got 95% of one of everything, I'd say. 
I just want. I just want to make it quick. I. I, I got an right. Irish passport, British driving license, and French bike. Okay, you'll be able to answer this question, maybe. Go. I'm a ham radio operator. Yeah. So I listen more than I talk. Okay. So yep. uh, there's this guy in Pennsylvania, and he's talking to this guy in London, England, an older gentleman. You can tell he's probably in his seventies. Yep. If I'm not, if I didn't misunderstand him, he said that the government was possibly going to make people in England house immigrants if they have a big house, like say a, a, a six-room house. Yeah. There was a possibility that the government was going to send them a letter and say, "You have to put up these this family for however x amount of days." Is that really true? No. 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 Looks like some long haul bikers here. Yeah, they got everything they need, including extra tubes. Now, I didn't notice those are electric or not. Yeah, those are electric bikes. Here we are rolling in at Topoka Lodge. I see people out eating, so that's a good sign. We're open. Most bikes out here are Harleys or sport bikes. Not too many of the uh, Royal Enfield Himalayans. Anything new on the Tree of Shame? Still no Himalayan parts up there, so let's don't be the first. Don't <laughs> <laughs> then go around, like, like. Yeah, I know it happened. There's a place down towards the bottom, turn right, the road goes up, there's a how long has he been riding? Three years. No, riding. Two. Um, two? Three years. Wow. Yeah, he's three years old, but riding about two years. A trooper, huh? He's, he's, he's <laughs> you don't want to miss out. missing out. Yeah. <laughs> That's so neat.
back on the dragon. Yeah, and let's bring our John boat up on the dragon. Couple John boats up on the dragon. And of course there's motorcycles stacked up behind them. Going, why are there boats on the dragon? Come on, Tennessee. Ah, thank you. Back in Tennessee. So we're getting warned about something. That's one sign I don't know I need to learn is uh, patting your hand on top of your head. I don't know what that means. That means clear. What does that mean? For some reason, I think it probably means you better dag up and slow down because something's up front ahead of you. Oh, police officer. Oh, there's. Okay, they're cleaning the roads. Yeah, I decided to let that, I don't know if it's a Hawabusa or what it is, I let it pass because it can go a lot faster than I can. Tell you what, that takes guts or just pure stupidity. I don't know. Be on the dragon on a bicycle. <laughs> They're electric, but they still aren't going very fast. <laughs> and you think coming out on a weekday would be better, but it's it's pretty busy today for for a weekday. Thanks for watching the Sketch on Wheels channel. Appreciate your support. If you'd do me a favor and hit that subscribe button, that would help me out. Also, what a great ride today, riding the Himalayan out on the Cherahala Skyway and the Tail of the Dragon. Uh, great meeting John and Bill. Motorcycle community is strong in this area. It's great forming that uh, friendship, that motorcycle alliance that we have, the things that we have in common, our love of the motorcycle. And so I appreciate you watching the channel. Hopefully you had fun. It was a great ride for me. I had a great time. Stay tuned. We have one more thing with Zoe. While everybody's at the beach or around the pool, Zoe and I are shopping. Zoe. Oh, you want me to pay? Hey, you are you me stranger. How are you? Good. Set now. 
13 to you. Zoe, what do you think you're doing? 10, 11, 12, <laughs> 13. You're, are you taking my change? Thank you, sweetheart. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good day. Okay, JC. Wow. You just did that, right? <laughs> you just took all my money. Should we all sign it real small? Yeah. Can we all sign it just real small? Yeah. Those are all black.